So what's up with your bicep? Did my bicep work out Wednesday. Is it, is it hurting more towards your elbow or towards your shoulder? Towards my elbow. Towards your elbow? Okay. And that just gives me, you know, he's using his body. He's working out all the time. He knows, he knows his own body. I, I trust that. That's part of the thing about the communication that I think is, is uh, so important. So I'm going to change this real quick and come out because we know where the, the bicep is located. Do you think it's about there? The soreness? Yeah. Or is it like a little further up? Oh, it's down. It's down. where you were the okay. first time. Right there? Yeah. Maybe even a little bit lower. Okay. So when you say lower, you mean out towards the elbow? Yeah. There we go. How's that right there? I think you were on it the time before that. That's my bad. Yeah, right there. I'm trying to trick him into working on my quad. Now, just like the calves and tibialis anterior, we were working the gastrox, working soleus, working tib anterior. You can start to compress from both sides. You think it's more that way or more this way? The second way hurt more. Right in there? Yeah. Okay. So I'm gonna I'm gonna pin. Is that too much on your tricep right there? No. Nah. Okay. If I if I'm here, a little more up or a little more down? Give me those choices again. A little more up. A little more down. Both. Okay. So he liked both. And what I heard is, I want you to slowly go back and forth. Is yeah. that correct? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm going to just very gently. Is that too much ulna, by the way? Do I need to broaden it? No. Right there? Yeah. It's the bicep that's hurting. It's not even the top. Like you could, don't do this, but like you could press harder on the top and it wouldn't bother me. It's, yeah. it's the bottom. And when you say the bottom, you mean? The bicep. Yeah. Yeah. So from here, I'm going to passively, I'm going to, I'm just going to test this because he's, he's in a little hurt. He's, he's, he was, his voice changed. He was like, ooh, ooh, you know, right there. I'm going to give him just a, just a little bit. All good. Yeah. That's about my limit. Okay. Now, what, what if I roll you back this way or this way? Yeah, that, yeah. This, this is where we take advantage of the table, by the way, because you couldn't do this on a mat exactly the same way, right? You'd have to kind of change position, angle, but this is where the, the table could be beneficial as a tool. Is that too much, Chad? No. Okay. Right here, just very gently, can you resist me, like pressing in my hand? And I'm like, oh, you got to do it for eight seconds. Chad told me it was eight seconds. And then when you're ready, you can... There you go. Right there. Her sister's name. Right yeah. there. We'll probably go further now. Yeah. yeah. Now his his fingers are cold. His his fingers are cold. This is this is cutting off some cardiovascular supply. I'm gonna slowly back off of that. And then there's a little therapeutic inflammation right there. How does just that little bit feel? Yeah, yeah. It, it feels better now. My arm feels longer. I can work towards the elbow. I can work towards the middle. I can work towards the shoulder. I'm pressing on the tricep. If it's too sharp in the tricep, could I put a towel over it? Mm -hmm. Sure. Could I, could I use my hands? Sure. I, I want you to save your hands. I'm always trying to find out a way to make it really effective, but like ease the strain on my body. The people who work out and stuff, man, dude, I just, dude, Chad and I would work on each other forever. Like it just, it's just so good. I don't see a lot of what I'm teaching in the marketplace.